Are you making these common mistakes? Pay attention to see which of these might be damaging your hair and we'll share how you can avoid them. We'll also share an amazing detangler that removes knots while protecting your hair from breakage. Let's get into it. Not giving your scalp enough attention. Most of us just put all the attention on our strands, but we forget about our scalp when setting up a hair care routine. A healthy scalp is where your hair health begins. Your scalp can easily get clogged up. It's important to care for your scalp and improve its health by purifying it of all kinds of impurities. How? Scalp exfoliation. It's an amazing way to clear out all the buildup of dirt, dust, dead skin cells, and excess oil. It also prevents premature hair loss. So why not make a homemade DIY scrub recipe to exfoliate your scalp? Our favorite and gentle scrub is aloe vera and sea salt. Mix half a leaf of organic aloe vera gel with two tablespoons of sea salt and massage all over your scalp. Aloe vera is soothing while the salt will help exfoliate. You can add water if needed to adjust the consistency. Rinse with warm water after. Another favorite is lemon juice, water, and sea salt. Squeeze half a lemon to get the juice. Add one and a half cups of water and two tablespoons of sea salt. You can also substitute lemon juice with one fourth cup apple cider vinegar. You can also add one to two drops of rosemary or peppermint oil. We've shared the benefits of many of those ingredients in our previous videos. So if you missed it, head over to those after this one. And remember to use organic ingredients as much as possible to avoid bad chemicals and pesticides that can further damage your hair. The deep cleansing and exfoliation of your scalp every once in a while, such as two to four times a month, will help clarify follicles, boost your scalp health, and in turn promote healthy hair growth. The scalp exfoliation will help you get rid of dandruff as well. Be sure to pay attention to your scalp in your hair care routine. Washing your hair too often or not washing it enough. If you've heard this a lot, it's because it matters for your hair health. Washing your hair every day is a great crime in hair care. But do you know what exactly happens when you do this? Here's how it works. Overwashing your hair will lead to your strands drying out and becoming dull. Because shampoo, especially if it has a high pH, robs your hair of all of its natural oils, which are essential to keeping it moisturized and maintaining beautiful and healthy strands. Not only that, but shampoos also don't match your hair's pH, which creates an imbalance of your scalp and hair. If you're curious to learn more about your hair's pH, check out one of our previous videos after this one. But what if your hair gets extremely greasy and your scalp gets oily too soon after a shower, such as 24 hours or less? <laughs> We've been there. And it took time to fix this issue, but it's possible to balance and adjust your scalp's natural oils so that you don't need to wash your hair every day. One tip that helped a lot is a natural homemade dry shampoo. One favorite trick is simply using two to three tablespoons of organic rice flour, but there's a few other recipes out there for natural DIY dry shampoos, so go ahead and test which one works best for you. Basically, dry shampoo absorbs the oil on your scalp. Clearing your scalp of excess oil and buildup boosts the health of your scalp and also soothes down its itchiness. This leaves you with cleaner hair for a few more days. All that's left to do is try noticing how many days your hair feels cleaner after a wash and then set up a routine of showering accordingly while incorporating natural dry shampoo, forgetting heat protection before using hot tools. You're being twice as harsh to your hair when you're making it undergo excess heat styling, but also when you forget to shield it from the heat. But do your hair a favor and help reduce damage by providing it with heat protection before styling. A good heat protectant will make sure that your precious hair doesn't undergo long-lasting or permanent damage. It will ensure that your strands don't lose their shine and turn dull due to excessive heat styling. The high temperatures of your favorite hot tools can cause your strands to dry out, which leads to split ends. A protectant will form a barrier on your strands and protect your hair from getting attacked by the damage of heat. Try searching for a natural DIY recipe that is best suited for your hair. We like the apple cider vinegar and water combination as apple cider vinegar helps seal the cuticles of your hair and helps retain more moisture leaving your hair hydrated and shiny looking. Add one tablespoon of organic apple cider vinegar and four tablespoons of clean water into a spray bottle and spritz away. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. This will cause it to more likely be shared with others. The more people see it, the more people can be helped from their hair damage, all thanks to you. Being too rough on your wet hair. 
Your hair is in its most fragile condition when it's wet, specifically color-treated hair. Wet strands are more elastic and more prone to breakage when mishandled. There's a few mistakes that are made when your hair is wet. First, be careful and gentle with how you towel dry your hair, even when putting it up. The back and forth movement of rubbing rough cloth all around your head and hair, moving vigorously in an attempt to dry it out, and then twisting it up. All of this is a horror to your strands, leading it to so much damage, breakage, and hair loss. Try using a soft cotton t-shirt, microfiber hair wrap, or Turkish towel for drying out your hair after hopping out of the shower next time. Drying out with a t-shirt works wonders for curly-headed beauties and for plumping your hair. The best is to opt for air drying your hair as much as you can if you have the time. Second, tying your hair up when it's wet or going to bed with wet hair puts too much stress on your strands and can lead to breakage, so try to avoid such practices. Third, you have to take extra care of your hair while brushing it when it's wet. It's best to avoid brushing wet hair as much as possible, but you can easily detangle damp hair, especially with Tangle Genie. This amazing detangler removes the most stubborn knots and tangles and works really well on damp hair. It gently detangles and helps your hair from further breakage, falling out, or any other damage that can happen while detangling, all thanks to its unique 360-degree flexible bristle design. Be sure to give it a try for a healthy detangling experience. Choosing tight hairstyles. Tight to the skin ponytails or tight updos are in. You may have spotted your favorite celebrities rocking the top knots, hugging their skulls, and started trying your own hair that way. We're sad to break the news. But these slicked back hairstyles can play a great role in the formation of a receding hairline and lead to too much breakage. To protect your precious hair from falling out and to make sure they stay healthy, it's best to steer clear of flaunting such hairstyles every day. You can rock them once in a while, but be sure to give your hair a break in between for good hair health. Let us know how this video helped you in the comments below and keep a lookout for our next video by subscribing to see more mistakes you might be making in your hair care routine that may be damaging your hair. Thanks for watching.